<laughs> Let's check in on the Suns. They won their last six games, which is tied for their second longest streak this season. And they've proven that big deficits, they are no big deal. They've overcome multiple 20 point holes during this streak. And a big part of their recent surge is availability, right? At their big three. The Suns have had Book, KD, and Beal in the lineup for eight straight games, their longest stretch of the entire season. And overall, the Suns are eight and four when all three play. And then that continuity, right? It's helped them on defense. During the streak, the Suns have had a top 10 defensive unit, a notable improvement for them on much of the season. So, Michael, what have the Suns figured out during this stretch? That if you put those three guys in the court, you're going to be better. I mean, it's, it's, it's simple, but direct, yes. Bradley Beal, and by the way, I have to mention Grayson Allen, which really yes. pains me. It's tough. Um, Why? He's been playing well. You don't like, you don't like him. For Mike, Mike called yeah, him really? a thug. Grayson yeah, Allen took... Caruso, a, a bull. Oh, yeah. Out yeah. of action for okay. six right. weeks. Okay. Right. Not to All mention right. other okay. stuff right. that we I won't get it. into. But my objectivity is a problem, huh? Okay. <laughs> and so, no, 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 no. Did I, did I say anything about objectivity? Okay. okay. No, I don't. But believe me, I can put that aside in a hurry. Now, the Suns have discovered Grayson Allen is open and understands what to do with it. He hits shots. Look at what Grayson Allen's been. He's got games with seven and eight threes and Bradley Beal. How can you guard? How can you pay the proper defensive attention? So KD and Booker, we're talking KD. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one of what? The four, three, two greatest scorers of all time, naturally. You're going to pay proper attention to Book and KD. What does that do for Beal and Grayson Allen? It, well, it means that offensively, you're challenged to stop the well, here, sun. Well, here's what re the real challenge is. They're outscoring in 240 minutes on the court together. They're outscoring the opponents by 15.2 points per 100 possessions. So what happens is this. Yes, defense wins championships, but points win games. And what do I mean by that? When you score points, it can tighten up the opposing offense because they know they can't afford to make mistakes because they can't stop you. Yeah. You okay? And, and now, now when you get a, just a scintilla, a speck of defense, which Frank Vogel will give you, right. yes. that can make you formidable. And, and they're doing that defensively. Malika said it going in to the last six, seven games. They're starting to defend. And Frank Vogel is known for that. But look, you don't want to play against Duran in a playoff series. You don't want to play against Booker in a playoff series. And Beal's just over there, wide open. Yeah. Grace wide Allen's open. playing great. They have weapons. Right. They have weapons. And if they guard a little bit, look, they'll give anybody trouble. Yeah. They'll give anybody trouble. But the question is, they need these six-game winning streaks, these eight-game winning streaks. They need these times where they're defending to show that they believe they can do it.